What's going on, everybody? Z here, and welcome back to some more Hydroneer. So, in the last episode, we got um, our house kind of built here. We have lots of things to do. It's still an absolute disaster here, but I think today we're going to focus on the mine a little bit more. Uh, we'll do some building. We'll get back to that, but I feel like we probably have plenty enough stuff to get, uh, well, to get some more miners going. And you know what? We need more miners because we've only got one, two, three, four, five. We've only got six tier two miners. That's just not enough. It's unacceptable. So we're gonna work on getting some more miners today, increasing our uh, Cloudium output. Honestly, Cloudium is the name of the game now. You know, it's it's all about how much Cloudium we can get. So let's go ahead and take this bad boy. Let's see what we got here. Uh, weight is a thousand and nine. Oh, that is glorious. So that should be able to make what is three hundred per um, per mining machine. So that's gonna make at least three more. Oh, that's gonna be super nice. Now that is because we took all that time and we were building and stuff like that. So that's why uh, we have a nice little chunk of Cloudium ready to go. But we're gonna go ahead and get that built. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, like, subscribe, all of the fun things. And let's continue. Now I am considering, um, I'm well, not necessarily right now, but I am planning on expanding the mine. I'm, I am i don't know when we're gonna get the, like the tier three items, the T3 items. So, um, I don't know. We're going to stand by for that, but I'm ready for it. Let's see. Okay, so there's our miner. Let's go ahead. Hit it. That is going to be one. So it's 300 and 1,000. Yeah, no pro blamo. Oh, man. Getting three more miners going right now. That's so super nice. And then hopefully it'll just cascade and we'll just be getting miners like crazy. All right, we got three more miners. Can we possibly get four? Do we have enough to get four? I don't know. Um, iron, yes. Cloudium, maybe not. <gasps> oh my gosh, we got four more miners. Oh, that is magnificent. And I don't think there's any way we're gonna have any more. I don't think we're gonna have enough for another one. Yeah, this bar doesn't look quite full sized. We're gonna throw it in here and see though. I mean, maybe. Nope. Okay. So we are four. Four is the number for us. So let's just go ahead and drop these off the edge and then we're going to get these hooked up. Oh, super exciting. Oh, I really need to get this area cleaned up. <laughs> it's a disaster. All right. So we're going to put another miner. Oh my gosh. It actually just went where it was supposed to. Go. Oh, no, it didn't. It needs to go right here, <gasps> but it actually did go where it was supposed to go without me having to move the belts and stuff. Oh, that's super nice. Okay, cool. I'm gonna grab the other three, get those into position. Um, now I'm actually kind of curious. Do I have room with my building like it is to get another row of miners? I think I do. I think we decided we could actually end up doing something like this still. I think that would work actually. And then I'll give us more miners on this side. Where did my other miner go? One, two, three. Oh, hiding in the lava. Can you die from the lava? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know if I want to test it right now. Okay, yeah, so we should be able to do something like this. Uh, throw a conveyor belt in there. Yeah, that should work. So we should be able to do this on this side here. Now, I did consider just throwing them right here, but with how our building is laid out, I think this is going to be the most appropriate option. And then what I want to do is once we hit tier three, we're going to work back that way and bring a belt up into, I think, right here. So it basically brings on the same conveyor belt. So it should be fine. Um, but let's go ahead and let's get everything connected up here. I just need, actually, I just need a conveyor belt. Is this just a standard straight conveyor? We're going to need this guy and then we're going to need a straight pipe as well. Do we have any, sh oh, straight pipe, straight pipe. I found a straight pipe. All right, so let's go ahead and let's flip some switches here. Let's turn those off. Let the conveyors run through, clear up all the stuff. And then uh, and then we'll get these guys hooked up. Oh my gosh, so we're going to go. Yeah, we went from what well, we had six plus four more. So now we have 10. Oh, 
that's going to be a nice increase right there. Just go ahead and wait for that to finish. All right, let's go ahead and flip that switch off. Let's get some building done here, shall we? Okay, so these two conveyors are already hooked up. So what we need to do is we need to bring this out for this one and bring this out for the next one. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and do this. Let's actually put this guy right here. Because of how I think we're going to have to... Well, hold on. Okay, so if I do that, we could put... We could put a T-pipe there to go to this one. But then for this one, we need this one to power this one and this one. Or we could use this one to power these two, or this one to power these two. I'm going to mess with this a little bit. I'm going to see if I can't get, like, a standard system down uh, and see what we got going on. So I know we're going to need some T's. We're going to need T's and elbows. That's basically all we're going to need here. All right. So I believe what I need is for each set of two, I think I need one T and four elbows. So I'm going to set up three machines worth, I think, right now. So we're going to grab three T's and 12 elbows. Um, now, we don't have quite enough machines for all of them, but I'm just going to go ahead and cork the ones that we don't need right now. All right, so we've got our uh, our elbows and our T's and stuff, so let's go ahead and let's grab these, start putting these on. You know what? Actually, I need to pull that cork off and that one off, and then we should be able to go ahead and get these in where I need them. So they should go like that. I believe on each one. So that's going to go from there to there. And then we get an elbow. That's going to go there. I think this is actually... You know, I visualized it. I didn't actually hook it up, so... But I think... I think it's right. <laughs> I think we might have guessed it right. Um, oh, this T actually needs to go right here. And then this elbow is going to go right here. Um, One, two, three, four. Yeah, no, okay. I think I counted it out right. I was a little bit worried that I maybe was one elbow shy. Yeah, that's basically how we're going to hook up each, each machine. So it tees off. One goes in here. One goes around over into here. And that works because this gives us space for this guy. So we can basically repeat that and nothing should be in the way of it. Of, of like each other. Oh, man. Don't you just love it when things like actually kind of work out? Okay, I got way too many elbows. How did I get so many extra elbows? Oh, you know why? It's because I counted a whole nother, uh, another system and I don't have the other system hooked up yet. Because I have like, what? One, two, three elbows left. All right, so that's good. Let's go ahead and we're gonna cork this because we don't have a machine here yet. Um, We could probably go ahead and get a conveyor hooked up right here, but that's okay. I think we will be fine. Oh my gosh, this is actually looking like it's gonna work out. Now, I do have it set up on this side to be able to repeat that process. So we could always throw another set of machines in right here, which we probably will. The only issue that I'm going to have is this wall right here, because I don't think there's enough room to get them in here. If there is, then that's going to be awesome. And we'll definitely go ahead and do that. But uh, for now, I don't think it's going to work. Let's go ahead and flip all these switches. Actually, let's go ahead and hammer some of these things down. I need to go through and hammer my walls down as well because I keep accidentally picking those up and it's super annoying. All right, so I think I got everything hammered down so I don't think we're going to accidentally pick up our house anytime soon. Let's go ahead and let's also flip some switches here. Uh, Where are the switches for these? Oh, they're on this side. There, 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 and there. Okay, so we've got four new machines Let's go ahead and let's fire up the belts. I don't hear any leakage. That's wonderful. Let's go ahead and fire up the miners. Actually, are these tier ones? 
You know what? Let's turn the tier ones off for now. Let's leave. Let's leave tier one off. Let's just leave. Let's just do the tier twos. Holy moly! Talk about a rumble. Yeah, we're just we're just gonna leave the tier ones off for now. I don't need any more gold or anything like that. I need cloudium. Um, I mean, I guess tier ones do have technically have a chance to get cloudium. But I feel like tier twos probably have a better chance of getting cloudium. Look at that. There's a piece of. Oh nope, that was the. Uh... Hmm. Maybe we should have tier tier ones going. There was a piece of cloudium there. There was a piece of cloudium there. Ooh, there's another piece of cloudium. Ooh, we're getting all kinds of cloudium now. <gasps> oh, I love it. There's another piece of cloudium. Oh, we're getting, we're actually getting a quite a, a decent amount. You know what? Yeah, I'm just gonna leave the tier ones off for now. Just because I don't, I don't think, do we need the extra, like, do we need the extra bits going? You know what? Might as well. Let's have the extra bits going. Yeah, we'll have the extra bits going for now. And then once we, maybe once we get all of our tier twos, like once we get this filled out here, then maybe we'll go ahead and just turn our tier ones off because I just, I don't need gold. I don't need gold. I don't need iron. And that's primarily all they get anyways. They get almost next to none, um, no cloudium at all. So awesome. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and let us, let's just run for a little bit and then let's see if we can't get some more, um, some more miners going. So as we're waiting here, uh, we are close to another miner here. I want to go ahead and get this stuff cleaned up a little bit. So you can see I kind of started setting some things up a little bit nicer. I do want to go out here. I want to get some stuff cleaned up as well. I think what we're going to do is I'm thinking about back in the, uh, the truck underneath of this machine and going ahead and get rid of, you know, some of these pieces here. Uh, some of the stuff that I just have sitting here that I just don't need for any reason. Like, I don't think I need these and we're making so much money <laughs> as it is that I have just all these pieces just chilling here, not really doing anything. Um, I know I still need to finish like the roof line of this and we do need to finish this area right here. But like I said, we'll, we'll get to that. Um, actually we could probably go ahead. We could probably go ahead and finish the floors in here. Do I have, I still have some more small floors. Um, do I have any more large floors? Oh, I do. Okay. Well, let's actually work on that a little bit. Let's get that cleaned up. So I'll go ahead and get these placed into here. I think. Why is that? <laughs> like, what the heck is going on here? Um, will that work? I think that'll work just fine. You know, I'm going to go ahead and place one temporarily right here just so I can get up and down from here. And let's go ahead and just bring this up here like that. Grab this. Grab that and place it there. Um, oh no, they're not running the same way. That's fine. This little room can be a little bit different. Okay, so that looks good. Let's go ahead and grab the uh, the small floors. Bring those up here. Let's just set that like right here for now. Then we're gonna use these to basically fill in right here. Whoops, wrong buttons. So that way we can get close to these and uh, add the parts bags or the the spanner wrench bags we can add those to that and not have to really worry about anything see now we don't have to worry about falling in um we could probably i don't know if see i'm a little bit worried about that because there is like a um you know it's it's determining like it's scanning that thing and throwing it there i don't want to put the floor underneath of it so we can actually go ahead hold on what the heck that's fine we could probably actually go ahead and put the floors in like that. We might, I might actually cover these. Mm, no, I don't think I'm going to actually. Yeah, no, I'm not actually going to cover these either. Just because I don't want it to, uh, I don't want any issues, you know? Okay, do we have any more walls? I feel like we probably half wall wood floor. What is this tool bags? Oh, actually that can go in here. We could set that there and then we can access those if we need to, uh, to re up those. Let's see. Where's our walls. Do I not have any more walls left? Storage chest, cottage wall window, cottage doorway. Do I seriously not have any walls left? I 
I must not have had any walls left. I must have used them all right in here. All right, well, that's fine. Let's go ahead and do this then. Let's go ahead and get the wood floor and we'll start placing that as our ceiling. Uh, we're probably going to go up to there to keep things like symmetrical. Where's our half walls at? So we'll put these up here. Go ahead and get those like lined up. That's not even close. There we go. All right, so there's those. So now we can go ahead and get our uh, ceilings in here. How do I actually have my ceilings placed? Do I have them placed like that? On top? Oh no, we haven't flipped around. That way we can see the beams. That's right. Yeah, I like that. Okay, let's get those done too. Now, what I want to do from here is I actually want to put walls in. I think I want to actually wall this off right here. Maybe wall this up. I'm not actually sure how I want to finish this. Um, we could do, we could possibly do something like this. Like that as like an overhang kind of thing. I don't know though. This whole back part is going to be kind of interesting. I mean, we could always. Can, can you like go on the right spot here, please? have that place anywhere mod on it's kind of kind of tricky sometimes i could go all the way back here um and then place the walls right here so this whole thing's a room that would probably look the best to be <laughs> to be honest <laughs> if i just went back and put walls up on the back of this right here and filled this in hmm maybe Okay, but now for everything else, I'm going to go ahead and move the tractor and we're going to clear out some of the stuff that I know that I just, I just don't need it. All right, so things look pretty good, pretty cleaned up here. Um, I got most, I got, yeah, pretty much all this stuff. I just kind of set this stuff here for now. I did have a couple of these that were broken, so I, I went ahead and threw those out as well. Um, I do, I want to grab some safes. So we can start throwing some bars in there because I bet you these bars are worth a lot. I want to go ahead and start throwing some say, uh, some bars in there. And then I also need to get another tool rack because I do have another rake here. And I want to have that like kind of set up right there. I'm actually going to run over here and see what, um, what the shop has to offer. I think there's a tool rack. I don't know if there's any safes. There might be a safe over there. I don't know. Oh, there is actually some safes over here. Okay. So maybe we'll grab a safe. I know for a fact I need a tool rack. So we'll grab that and take that back with us right now. And then I might come over and grab some safes. All right, we got some safes and we actually, I actually got some standing torches too. Um, now I think what we're going to do with these is we're probably going to end up. Where do I want these? I kind of want them like right here. Probably going to end up moving this stuff. Now, I also, I do want to do some, like, decoration and, like, making things look nicer. Uh, but we've got to kind of get to that point. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and put this. Let's put that right there. I feel like that's a good spot for that. So we can weigh things, like, right there. Um, gem cutting. Let's just set this maybe right there. Put that right there and put this right here for now. Okay. Perfect. Let me go ahead and hammer those down so that way we don't actually accidentally pick them up. Because, you know, I like to hit the wrong buttons. Perfect. Okay, so those are good. Let's hit that down, hit that down, hit that down. So now we can open these up and we can actually... We can go ahead and take one of these out. My gosh, there's so much in here. 21,000. Insane. Throw that in there. Go ahead and get an iron. What is this one? This one's worth 1.98 million. <laughs> or one point. No, not not 1.9. 1.098. Whew. So we'll put that one in there. We'll grab a gold bar. How much are you worth? 2.3. My gosh. And then that'll be cloudy. I mean, then we can go ahead and we should be able to just shut all these. That way we don't have like a, a, you know, a crazy amount of stuff sitting in there. Basically, I think once we hit a million in value, we'll probably go ahead and throw a bar in these. Um, these ones I'll just do every so often. We could throw a set of counters up there. 
So we have like a rough idea of how many went through and we probably should also do something for the gems as well. There's four gems. I mean, there's pillows for gems. The little pillow thingies, I guess we could probably throw, we could probably set like four of those up and have one for each gem type. And then when we want to combine it, bring it over, drop it in, combine it. Um, Maybe, I kind of wish there was like, can I actually, can you put gems in a safe? Like if I do this, no, you can't. Kind of a bummer. I kind of wish there was a gem storage. So that way you didn't have to have like all of them combined all the time. Um, and then I do want to do some decorative stuff. Actually, I grabbed a couple things. I grabbed these torches that looked kind of cool. Uh, maybe we would throw these up somewhere. Uh, it's not super dark in here because I, I have my gamma up super high. Uh, there. Yeah, we'll just throw a couple of these around just for aesthetics. There. Just basically a couple of them outside, a couple of them inside. You know, we'll, we'll, we can readdress them later. Good. Hammered down. Looks wonderful. All right. So let's go ahead and let's weigh our cloudy. Let's see if we can get another one. Uh, we could do one more, but you know what? I think I'm just gonna let it sit. I, I kind of rather do them in groups. Uh, if I could get in like another four or five at the same time, I think I'd prefer to do that. Well, if we did one more, we could have that. Eh, no, we're fine. Awesome. Okay. So there we go. We got some things going. Base is getting a little bit cleaned up, a little bit nicer. Um, like I said, I do want to have like, I want to go get that, all that like fancy stuff, the, the couches and uh, the bed and like all that fancy looking stuff. I want to get some of that stuff, get some jewelry made, have them on some mannequins, stuff like that. But that is going to end this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like if you're new here. Don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. And uh, like I said, you know what? Next episode, we'll, we'll make this place look a little snazzier on the inside. I think that'll be kind of fun to do. Spend some of that, spend some of that money for some, some niceties. <laughs> oh, yes. But thank you again for coming out. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.